today on Make, Shape, Create. Today we're gonna to take these supplies to make this mirror. Hey guys, so uh, today we're gonna to make an egg mirror, okay? Um, very simple, been doing this for years. Um, used to actually make them for gifts for people. Really cheap, really simple. Um, first thing you wanna do, you need to clean off the mirror really well. Cover it with masking tape. You can either use masking tape or they have um, like full sheet adhesive um, sheets. I, don't, I think you use it for like book covers or or whatever. You can use that if you'd like. Um, I've just always used masking tape just because it's cheaper and easier. But you're just gonna cover the whole thing. Um, basically everything you don't want um, eggs, you want to cover. We got our mirror all taped off, so now we want to um, do up our design to put on the mirror. Now you can you can totally draw this freehand right on here. That's totally fine. Um, I want to do a bat symbol, and so to do that, I want it to be symmetrical. So I'm going to use this grid paper, draw it out, fold it in half, and cut it. That way, I know it's 100% symmetrical. Okay, so let's do that now. All right, guys. So we've gotten our picture drawn. So now I'm just gonna use an X-Acto knife. I've already folded the paper in half, so you use that to cut it in half. Got our bat symbol cut out. Um, I'm just using this as a stencil, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use some packing tape, just cause it's clear, and tape this down on the mirror, um, on the masking tape that's on the mirror. That way when I uh, go to cut around it, it doesn't move on me, okay? Do that real quick. We've gotten it taped down. You're just gonna go around it with the knife. Um, you know, I mean, it's, you have to be exact as you want. Um, if you cut a, a little off or whatever, it's, it's fixable, it's not a big deal, it's all tape and paper. So let's do that now, okay? So I got it all cut out. As you saw, I probably, you know, went a little off the lines here and there. Not a big deal. Uh, when I go to start peeling this off, if need be, you can always add more tape, you can add more whatever. It's not a big deal. Um, if you guys don't want to do this by hand, you can, if you have like a Cricut or a, a, you know, a vinyl cutter of some sort and you want to cut out like a vinyl sticker, you can totally do that too. Totally will work the same way. Um, you just want to do the reverse. So you see what I'm I'm peeling off of the tape is what is going to be um, X'd with the acid. So you just gotta make sure that you're See, there's cut parts where like, I didn't cut deep enough, no big deal. Totally, it'll take two seconds to fit. Um, here's another piece that I didn't cut real well because it's pulling up the, uh, what I want left there. But it's no big deal. Beauty of masking tape, you can always fix. <laughs>
like that. So as you see, unfortunately I got this taped down. Just can you just pull the camera in here? As you can see, what mirror will be X when we're done, okay? So we got our emulsion right here. Don't have to do anything special with it. We've already cleaned the glass. We're just gonna use a foam brush. Now, any people who watch this might also know of another channel called uh, I Like to Make Stuff with Bob uh, Claggett. He did a, a shelf for his, uh, with the glass panel not too long ago. And one of the problems that he said he had in the video was that it was uneven. Now, from my experience, that's because by following the directions on the bottle, it says don't even leave it on for five minutes. In my experience, you always want to leave it on a little longer. It'll help even it out just a little bit. It's not always perfect, but it does help a little bit. Okay, let's get that covered. Now. All right, guys, we got this completely covered. It's, it's actually on there really thick, um, which, in, like I said, in my experience, is a good thing. You want it on there a little thick, helps with the, uh, you know, coverage, the evenness of the final edge. Um, so now we just need to leave this on for about 20 minutes, wash it off, take off the tape, good to go, okay? All right, so we've let it sit for about 20, 25 minutes now. Just gotta rinse it off under water and then take off tape, we're good to go. And as you can see, there's still spots on it, so you just gotta, you kinda gotta go by touch. You can't see it all, but it is a cream. You just make sure that if you're not using gloves, that as soon as you get done, you wash your hands very well. See if some tape already came up, and that's fine. Right that was to get this a little better. I got finished product. Now again, like I said, you know, you could do it very easily, do a border or something different, however you want to do it, but it's a basic process. And like you said, the heavier you add it on, it's a little more even, you know what I mean? And as this dries a little better, it's still a little wet, this will get even more even, okay? So very easy process, anyone can do it. Materials cost very little. So hope you enjoyed this one, guys. If you did, hope you'll uh, like and subscribe this video. Leave comments down below if you have any tips or tricks for anyone else. And uh, find us on Facebook and Twitter at Make Shape Create. And if you'd like to support us, patreon.com backslash Make Shape Create. Thanks. See you next time.